Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Triforce podcast. That's right. I've had a week's holiday. I've been in the sun. I'm all chipper. He's got pep in his step. He's all he's all loose and fancy free. Where did you go? I went to a Greek island. I went to Corfu. Fuck off. It was it was, it was very there was lots of gammon men there. Oh fuck you. Uh, red. Let me guess. Was, did did, did you sleep in every day? It didn't rain. I slept in. Do you I, any water I had sports? A nice time. I went to water park. Fuck yeah, I went you, to man! Come on. Why, why are you trying sweet, to ruin thing. this this podcast with your happiness? What, what oh, the sips fuck? with his oh, uh, with his on. criticism. Fucking sorry, old lumbago stricken flat. Oh, yeah, my, <laughs> your, I do have your lumbago. Old, old does have disease. lumbago. <laughs> when I when so I found fun. out what it is, it just says lower back pain. I've had lower back pain for a week, so I would say I am really l- lumbagoed up. Yeah, Holy lumbago crap. is such a fucking old timey prospect of like, disease isn't it, from like the American West. He's well, got yeah, but... gout, consumption, and lumbago. <laughs> <laughs> Good old lumbago. If a... if I went to a fucking doctor and he told me I'd had l- I had lumbago, I'd be like, "What fucking year is this, man?" Oh, that... man. Whereabouts like, did like... you stay in Corfu City, like the main bit? No, we went there for a couple days. Uh, Corfu Town, which is I was with a whole group of people. Yeah, town. Um, oh, were you on like my... one of those eighteen thirties holidays? But you oh, were like, no. they, they let you in because you were you were older. And they were like, "You can come in, young old man." Was it like a bit of a swex, uh, like a like a, I almost said swexy, but I actually meant to say <laughs> sexy swexy. swingers holiday. Is that what you were on? The, Did the, you get... It was the opposite of that. I um, imagine it... you wearing a sleeveless turtleneck to one of those. <laughs> Wait, it was the I wasn't opposite. wearing a shirt mostly. It, it was, was the so opposite hot. of a no. swingers party. So the opposite of that would be an incel. Or Volcel, like a D, oh, like a crap. me and my D and D group decided to take our campaign on the road. <laughs> we went to Corfu to finish up the uh, the campaign that we were working on. It Is was, it like it was that? just a group of friends, uh, my partner's friends, and they they know a place that's good. They've been there and stayed there for a while, so we just sort of invited everyone we know and random we got ended up with a random group of people. Nice. It's quite it's pretty, really isn't fun. it, Corfu? It's it really is quite fun. pretty. I think all the Greek islands are. You know, it sort of reminded me of going there. As a kid, you know, I think I went there when I was younger. They say like certain things like ring a bell, like thank you is F. Caristo. And for some reason that's that's like that's not what I was expecting, because everywhere else it's like some variation of Grazi, isn't it? I know it's Calispera and Calis Smero or something from Yeah, it's like that means good day. Did you bust out the uh Chris Waddle? No, I didn't. I didn't even think of that. You should have. I wasn't on my radar. I mean, all of Greece looks a bit run run down. It is a poor country, man. That's it's why. a very it's a very paint peeling kind of place, yeah. and not not exactly like some places are beautifully tended to and looked after, but there's a lot of stuff that's kind of I don't know abandoned or didn't pay off, and I I get the impression that the whole place is run under the table on like uh, money cash cash money. Do you know what I mean like? <laughs> Everything we paid for was cash, and they gave us reductions in cash. And I could just tell that that money is, is not there being a, like a barter properly. economy there too. Can you can you haggle? Uh, not really, no. But they don't really require big tips either. Right. Um, we were tipping, and they were sort of very grateful about it, and sort of you know over over the top reactions to or unexpected. T- I guess it's the, the 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 gammon Brits who go on holiday there every year. I think it's one of these islands that's pretty small. I think it's got uh, like a hundred k people on it max. And you know, as a result, you know, the t- when it, during tourist season it triples or quadruples in population, you know, and on the off season it's just deserted because uh, because it feels like everything is built for tourists. Like there's these places that are in the middle of nowhere, kind of down dirt tracks, and it's like three hotels and a supermarket, and you're like, this supermarket is only for the tourists, right? Uh, it cannot possibly operate. Did it have the rest all your favorites around. in there? Did you go? Did you do like that Peter K bit where it's like you're on vacation and you you just seek out things from home? They got well, Cadbury's fingers here. Oh my god. <laughs> You like wouldn't every... believe it. It was nuts. So there was this, we went to this beach that was, it's basically like an hour and a half away from the town. It's about as far away from the town as you can possibly get to. And they had this supermarket there that had just more selection of like vegany stuff and like stuff I could eat than anywhere in Bristol. <laughs> and it had stuff I recognized, like, yeah, like just all the stuff from home. It was like, how have you got a better selection of stuff than the Tesco around the corner? I can't believe and... they do halloumi here. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
no, it was it was like, really nice to be in the sunshine. Holy shit! Like um, come back here and getting getting rained on for a, a few days. It's been like a wake up call. Did yeah. you? We, I remember we we went there. This was me and Mrs. F's first holiday that we took. Just us was going to Corfu, and it was super cheap. We went with like it was like a package thing. It was dead cheap. Cheap flights, cheap accommodation. Like a Thomas Cook. Back yeah, when like, Thomas like Cook that was kind around. of shit. Exactly. Like it was that level. So me and my partner, this whole holiday, we spent about one and a half grand all in for both of us. For the accommodation, was... flights, and view yeah, and for a ev- full week everything. of spends and everything. Yeah, yeah like crap. we ate out like all the time. I mean, even with like the European week, it was just like the flights were cheap, the fucking place was cheap. Everything was just it was like it was like the cheapest fucking holiday I've had in so long, I couldn't believe it. Well anyway, imagine sorry, imagine what it cost in two thousand and and two or whenever we went it was like super long time ago but there was it was nice the one thing is the Greece is a very as anyone that's played Hearts of Iron will know it's very hilly <laughs> yes mountainous hard very to get very difficult to hard assault hard to get troops around in and yes. hard to assault uh, but yeah. easy to defend but anyway we took a coach trip <laughs> and you took a coach trip up these roads that are clearly not built for a full sized coach but the coach yep. drivers yep. manage anyway and we went up to the top and there's this view where you look out and it's just a series of inlets with a mountain sort of at each one. It's like it looks like very Tolkien-esque sort of, you know, fantasy landscape of all these little coves and all these peaks. And it's just beautiful green. The water is that crystal blue that it is around there. It, w- it was amazing. But then you kind of thought, geez, it took like an hour and a half to get up here. And now we're going to get all the way back down. Like I just wanted like a big slide or something because the coach driving was genuinely terrifying. The coach yeah. driver, the, where he sits, is the wheels are under him, and there's that whole front of the coach that just sticks out oh over the, God, the right. edge. So if you're sitting, we were sat near the front, foolishly, and every time he comes to a corner, it looks like the coach is driving off into space, and then you're turning because oh he knows where the this. wheels are. It was so scary. I've done so many of those trips as well when I was a kid. It felt like every time you went to France or anywhere like that and drove around the Alps, you'd, you'd fucking be any second you'd be like oh, it's terrifying. your doom but the, the joke it really that did the, feel uh, like they were just driving in space didn't it yeah, yeah it the, so nuts. the joke that the uh the tour guide while the coach driver's plugging away big greek lad you know he looked like he knew what he was doing for sure she told this joke that at uh, the gates to heaven there's like a queue to get in based on who's done the most and there's like senior bishop is there and there's this priest is there and there's like a rabbi is there and all these senior people so uh, peter's like all right let, let this guy in first and this guy just his regular guy walks just like why is he allowed in here he's he hasn't uh, generated more prayers and more faith than we have and they're like he's a greek <laughs> coach driver and they're like oh after you they sort of let him on <laughs> that was the joke i guess and I it's thought, not just him it's all of his passengers are also exactly praying. that's all the prayers that you're generating is like every yeah. time he takes the coach out people are genuflecting <laughs> and all the rest of it he's so. like artificially inflated his prayer right. like allocation very gentle <laughs> holiday joke by our tour guide a, people like <laughs> like that level good, of chuckle that's a good yeah one. That's, that's a good i, that's I feel good. like that's a decent chuckle to have when you're when you're on vacation right you you want yeah, yeah. things to be lighthearted, you know. Exactly. You want no, no taxing jokes, please. No, you wanna... oh God, you don't want to have to think too hard about anything when you're having your vacay in Corfu or or wherever, you know. Mm-hmm. You want to take it. Was, it, it was great. Take it easy. Yeah, we did the uh, we did all recommended shit like rented a boat and drove around the island. Oh fuck off! And um, <laughs> it was like landed on some little Come islands on. and. And it was it was stupid and fun and like just it was very like hard. I got burned to shit, obviously. Well, yeah. Um, even like slathering myself in fucking Factor Fifty. You gotta re, a, you gotta re, reapply a, a couple of times. Boy. Yeah, you can't just do it once. That's the mis- that's the common mistake people make. So one one coating is not enough. Like every oh, couple right. of every like sort of like five hours or something, you need to reapply. Apparently, I'm just also really lazy at applying it because my knees got really burned and my like, yeah my you're elbow like a got child, burned, aren't stuff. you? You really are like a child. You need someone there to fucking put the sun cream on you, make sure it's on your... you got to get your knees to... Oh, don't on my knees! Not my knees! It feels yeah. weird! That's you. It's like kids. So, is, kids, when me. they think they know everything, you're like, yeah, just you wait, buckaroo. <laughs> you, you don't even know how to put sun cream on one day. You're going to be fucked so hard and you're just going to turn around and be like, why didn't I just listen <laughs> to my parents? Yeah, exactly. It they takes were trying like to tell years. me. Yeah, it takes I know. years I, before you, know, you realize. You know, and then on my side, I'm like, I feel I'm like a broken record. I say the same shit 
shit all the time. Oh my Nobody god. Nobody listens to me. Dude, and then they I turn know, around I... and they're like, oh, how, how did this happen? I was like, yeah, yeah, how did it fucking happen? I told <laughs> you about a million times. Like You to... know, you know what? I I've we've we've got a system. I don't know if you guys have this uh or you you have a, a allowance like pocket money for your 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 kids, right? Uh, we're not at that stage just okay. yet. Okay, so we're we're right. at we're firmly at that stage where they get pocket money for doing annoying chores around the house and stuff right. like that, and they can earn money by doing extra things to help out. And we've started levying fines uh, <laughs> on their earnings. <laughs> Holy shit! And they were oh, appalled. They're going to be joining the fucking r slash anti work subreddit. Yeah, in no yeah. Time. They can do that. I'd like to see how they get money to buy all the stupid shit they want to buy. If they don't flush the fucking toilet and not leave their socks on the fucking floor so the dog eats them. So uh, what are tidy these fives? Do you, room? Have a, do you have a sheet of them? Like, so is it, is it, we, we is do. It just arbitrary? We keep track of it. Um, okay. So, you know, at the end of the week, uh, their pocket money is deducted based on their fines. And they were like, this is unbelievable. It's like, look, <laughs> I've been telling you guys for literally 10 years to flush the toilet, to not leave needles on the ground from when you've been sewing and a needle falls on the ground they're just like ah nothing can be done about that it's still like dumb <laughs> shit like that like a fucking needle on the ground Jesus and, and like oh. pens with the lid off just on the sofa I'm like what do you think is gonna happen pencils on the sofa just lying there you go to sit down you sit on a fucking pencil or which is more likely the dog eats the pencil which has been happening a lot just ridiculous taking their hoodies off just throwing them on the floor like near the dog bowl I'm like what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> fucking hang that up and they're just like Ugh. so it's like all right we'll the, start the, fining you and now they fucking I, now they're like oh i think i smell a fine and they're like, and they're like running around <laughs> trying to do shit we're not uh we're not there with the currency yet but our the currency we use is uh my my kids both really like um like screen time right like my, right, my yeah, son yeah. wants to play games my daughter wants to watch like uh like these like uh disney cartoon things on youtube and stuff of course and so we we limit it quite a bit because we don't want them just like plugged in all the time sort of thing so when there's a sniff of a chance to get on these things that's when we we get them to do all the chores because like oh can i can i play my game for a bit like yeah you can but you got to do this first and then while they're in the middle of doing that one thing and like the efficiency is unbelievable mm. like if you ask them any other time holy crap they're dragging their feet like it's taken hours to just do like a simple task or whatever but when it when it's something they want to do and it's on their time holy crap they yeah. they, they motor yeah. so that's when that's when we just stack everything up it's like okay yeah go clean the lounge and then then and then as they're like nearing the end thinking oh shit i'm almost done this task i can get on to my game or whatever it's like all right go clean your room now <laughs> yeah. you just like keep keep piling it on so take that energy and use it that's yeah. it that's it it works pretty well, actually. So we just get these bursts of like productivity every once in a while, which is, yeah. which, is which is great. But you've you've both got kind of interesting takes on the workforce, you know. There, one is this kind of like um, idea of money as the incentive that you and fines, you know. Yeah. I, but I guess you have to be quite broad with your categories, right? I guess it's like stuff on the floor, stuff on the sofa. Do you know what I mean you can't be too so specific, right? Because it's people will always be you have to encompass a large amount of 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 trash and dropping and littering and mess yeah no it's I mean? not codified it's all very uh off the top of your head and it I, I try to be as fair as possible i give them a chance but if it's something like listen i told you this like three times now to tidy your room and you haven't done it that's a fine you know that oh. you, you've, you've got to be how much um what what are we talking about like what's oh, the it, weekly allowance i and... think they get like three pound fifty a week which doesn't sound like much but and what, what are fuck? like what's the average fine like oh it'll be like between 30 and 50p it, we've yet to have a one pound fine <laughs> ah, okay and so when they get this three pound fifty a week yeah. what the fuck do they do with it i mean what well, can you even surprised. buy with three pound fifty now what like well, three liters of milk or something no they buy they buy sweets and things like that that's a big one so on a Friday, on the way home from school, they like to stop at one of the corner shops and buy some sweets or something like yeah, that, or sure. ice cream or whatever, or a can of Fanta, that's very popular. Um, when they go out at the weekend, sometimes if they've saved up their money, they'll want to buy a comic or a book or, or a toy or something that they really want. Yeah. Um, they also want to save up the money to buy stuff. You'd be amazed. You know, DLC is very expertly priced. It like, is. Like, oh, I need two ninety nine to get this Sims 
fucking t-shirt DLC oh or whatever. You're like, God, fine. Yeah. It's your money, but, you know, anyway, so they, they buy oh, I see. And stuff. So they, they, there is a surprising number of things out there that you can buy with 350 if your interests are as limited and basic as my kids. Yes, I, yeah, I, I, I get it. Oh, yeah, we just don't have the the same. And I guess your your approach, Sips, is is more of the re- more of the preventing them from doing something you don't want them to do by giving them an in- incentive base. Yes, hmm. it's different incentives, isn't it? Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, they do get money for doing extra things. And for anyone saying that this is unfair, consider this. Uh, they they don't fucking they they get everything for free. They get a lot of treats. I buy them a lot of stuff. Well, it cost. I think it, did it did it, did I read that it cost a million pounds to raise a child? There's no way um, it costs a million pounds. I think it I, I for a long time it was a hundred and fifty thousand pounds. I think it was generally seen as the amount. Oh yeah, how much yeah. does it a cost? million? I mean, Jesus, nobody would be able to have kids. Hey, here's uh, an interesting uh, stat or something for you. When uh, the baby, okay. Sorry, when the baby yeah. was born, uh, which I'd like to say was uh, almost exactly a year ago, she's gonna be God. she's gonna be one in two weeks. Can you no believe it? Way. I know it's fucking crazy, eh? So um, when she was born, we were we didn't make the same the same mistake we made. Like certainly for the first one, we barely bought anything for the baby because we we were were you know seasoned veterans. Now we don't we didn't waste any money on a bunch of shit that we weren't going to use or whatever because we knew exactly what we needed and stuff. So we stocked up a little bit on stuff we knew we needed, like you know nappies and wipes and all, like all that kind of all like the the immediate stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, I was at the store and they had like a, a like an off brand box of nappy bags. Scented nappy bags, which you need for babies, right? Because the, those those diapers can really stink. So they're just like these little flimsy plastic bags. They come on a roll. And then when you changed your baby's diaper or whatever, in case you've never had a kid before or whatever, you put it into this little bag, tie it up and just chuck it in the garbage. But then it, it masks like the smell of shit and pee and, and whatever, you know, like so it, right. it's, it gives it like a more of like a floral kind of uh, sure. uh, scent or whatever, right? So normally you get these things in like, uh, you know, if you get like Morrison's or like co-op or, well, you know, whatever, big, big like um, supermarket brands, you get like 50 in, in a pack, right? Right. But this, so this was just like an off-brand thing, and it had three hundred bags in a pack for two pounds. Okay, so I was like, okay. "Holy shit, what a deal! Like, right. I'm gonna get four of these. Like, we're never gonna run oh out of these." Oh my god! Right? So I was like, twelve hundred nappy bags. Like, we're gonna, we're never gonna get through this. And uh, yesterday, we finished the fourth box. Oh, holy Jesus. shit! Yeah, sips. The, so they, two weeks okay. off a year. 1200 plus because there has been like some we haven't just used those because there have been times where like some other nappy bags have like entered the fray or whatever that's a lot of shitty diapers for one year yeah. holy crap so fucking hell well okay so i've read this thing it says it's to 2022 the average cost of raising a child to age 18 which is not the actual cost is it because you know they they're going to come back in their 20s and live with you till they're 30 these days yeah. goddamn yeah. zoomers uh <laughs> they um it's 202,000 pounds so sips three kids is street 600,000 pounds well i'm not surprised that they got to live kids. with uh w- that they're going to be living with us well into their 30s or 40s because i don't know if you've had a look at the price of property recently it's insane i don't know how oh, no. It's gotten to this point. I don't know how it, it can it can carry on. It, it's insane. Like uh, the, the, over here, a one bedroom apartment. It's like four hundred square feet. Three hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Oh, it's crazy. Who the fuck is gonna buy pay that for that? It's nothing. Right. It's like a matchbox. <laughs> like you can't even live in it. <laughs> You know, know what? Three is what, what me. gets me? All these property prices going up, and everybody's saying, "Holy shit, this is fucking ridiculous!" Right? And it is. But somebody's still buying these houses. Who, who though? Are, who? Like, who the like, fuck is buying who? that? Who's buying them? I don't know, Because I see man. people moving in around here, and I'm like, Twickenham is not cheap. Who the fuck is buying these houses? Like, what? They must have... I, a lot of the time, I, I chatted to them when we had the, the party, the street party. I said, you know, how did? what was the route you took to get here? It's a very subtle way of asking, how the fuck did you afford to buy a place around here? And they're like, oh, well, we sold a flat in... We, had, we bought a flat together in London, and then we sold that, and we moved out here. It's like, so people who are like maybe in their mid-30s had bought a flat 
a small flat in central London a few years ago, mm -hmm. sold that for a profit, and then took that money to buy a house further out. Like everybody migrates further out. Uh, we never owned somewhere further in. We've always lived further out because fuck living in. I think in I the think middle. a lot of people are looking at renting and they're like, well, look, why would I rent when I can just buy and pay the same but have a mortgage, right? right. Yeah. Which makes a lot of sense, especially if they have someone yeah, or they're lucky that, enough that, to have someone that, who'll lend them money for the deposit. You I, know, I so. think it's the, the best time to rent now because I don't feel like rental prices have uh, gone they, up they, in they line have. with the... with the, They have too. They, they have, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. So, so I, th I think they always will, though. I, I don't know. It's very difficult, right? But I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is that, you know, the people are buying houses who... Have, may have no money at all because you know they they borrowed the deposit off someone else and they're you know they 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 it's all borrowed from the bank. Yeah, right? you it's, can't it's borrow the really deposit. Like, you can't borrow the deposit. I guess it doesn't. What I'm saying is it doesn't matter how expensive the house is because if the bank will lend you that money and if you can bring if you can get five or ten percent as a deposit, I don't even know how much you need, but I it's think different amounts. Fifteen percent, um, I um, think, on average, something like that. Uh, then it might. Suddenly, it also does depend on the mortgage that you get. But uh, suddenly, like you know, you know, it's it's within reach, especially if you know your. It, it makes sense financially because it costs the same. Oh, I read a thing which said that you know if you're going to buy a house, you should stay there for at least ten years. You should plan to because otherwise you're not covering the costs of the stamp duty and all oh, the yeah, extra of shit yeah. you pay for. Right? I mean, unless your and area goes up payment. insanely. Unless you live uh, where I live and uh, you can expect like uh, an extra like 200, 300,000 pound profit uh, every year because the, the, the prices go up so much. It's fucking insane, man. Like, I don't know. I mean, it's good, well, good if, you're, the, if the you bought over here, I suppose, but like yeah. if you're just trying well, to buy, you, impossible. I don't think people... Even like, I mean, obviously having a house as an investment is 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 fine, and, and you know it's good to be on that that ladder. I think that the, the, you, you're not gambling on it going up when you buy, right? No one's buying a house thinking, "Oh, this is a." I hope, yeah, I'm sure expecting this to double. Well, sometimes, yeah. yeah. Okay. I but mean, if you can turn so, around and flip a place for like a, a huge profit, like after a couple of years, why not? But I think, but I think that's the point, though. I think the point is that you're. I imagine it didn't really go up ludicrously because of any kind of crazy in a real modern in a normal world a normal situation um you shouldn't move more than 10 years because you're effectively you might as well rent in that case right, right? because you're the, the costs that you're accruing are deflated or reduced by that you know if you're going to move house every couple of years yeah and, there are some know, people i know that do that not like not like friends friends but like uh you know, other other people that we know in the area, sort of thing, and they they'll move all the time. Like they'll they they'll live here for a couple of years, and they'll sell. They buy some other place. Oh I just man, think, I don't know how people do that. Who, it's too who much. Could move house like. Ugh. I mean, it, don't get me wrong. It's exciting when you when you first move into a house, but holy shit, it's a lot of work, and especially when you yeah. have kids, it's even more work, right? Oh, forget about it. It's a nightmare. It's, I, I I yeah. I mean, I'm I'm still renting actually, and part of the reason is that I'm just. Every time I rent somewhere, I move in and I'm like, this place is all the problems with this. I wouldn't want to own this place because of all the problems with it, right? And I get those sorted out just about enough to live in it while I'm renting it. And it's like, but, and I know if I lived there and, and I don't have to do that once, but I, I guess I just dread the constant maintenance and the, all, all the, all, all, I, I dread like buying somewhere and then hating it because there's, it's that the neighbors are shit or noisy or the air is really right. noisy or there's loads of flies or I don't know, some weird fucking thing, like some dumb, Fucking shit. Like, I went to this restaurant in Corfu, and it was really nice, really beautiful, like, place. Like, it felt like I was in a different world. There was, like, all these wonderful paved streets, flowers everywhere. I went to this restaurant. But as soon as it got dark at, like, 9 p.m., then all the just fucking all the vag bugs all just came in like All crazy. the vagabonds started turning like, up. Like, fucking oh, crazy, vagabonds. man. Like, they were everywhere. Like, like... Like it was like you. I was walking out of the restaurant and it was like crunching under my feet because there were that many bugs on the floor. I could, you, it, there were too many like to walk around. Roaches and stuff too. No, just like little black bugs and like little mosquitoes. Oh, and it was obviously because it was in like a more rural area. But I was just like, how the fuck? This 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 restaurant must have to like fucking seriously scrub these floors clean you know, every, like, every uh, morning. You, like you know, like in those James Bond movies, the old James Bond movies, or what, any James Bond movie. Mm. You know, he always goes to like places like Greece or whatever. He's always in these kind of like exotic locations. 
And, you know, he's always got his tuxedo on at night. He's outside talking to, like, you know, some villain or, or some shit or whatever. Where's all the fucking bugs? Like, he, you never see him swatting his face, like, getting the bugs out or whatever, right? <laughs> yeah. He's always just like, oh, well, that's interesting, Dr. No, that you would say that. Uh, but and no. like, where's the fucking and then mosquitoes? Like, like, yeah, come yeah on. I think it got me on my neck there. Doctor, oh, wait there. It is. Got it. Got it. I got it. I got a second, Doctor. No, <laughs> just a second. The flies on. <laughs> or, or they've got something in their shoe. He's like, so Blofeld. You think? Hold on. Just let me. Just let me shake this up. <laughs> got a rock in my boot. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Nope, Vigo. it's still there. <laughs> Hold on. Let me tap the top of the shoe. You all right there, there we go. Yeah. Nope. I've just had something in my shoe. Right. Back. Okay. Where, where are we? Blofeld. You won't get away with this. <laughs> oh, I love man. that. I love you. D- I love the idea of him like forgetting to put sun cream on or forgetting his glasses in a restaurant like a normal person yeah. or like or suddenly you know. needing a shit really bad. Like he's yeah. just, oh that must he's like, happen. Oh, he's getting on as well. Hold you know? that thought. I hold gotta go on. pinch a big one. I'm Where's the toilet? Prairie dog and real hugs. The turtling. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go. <It's> <laughs> 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 Especially if he gets punched in the gut, you know, let's yeah. sound like a big fart. Like, oh, oh, God, I shit my Oh, no. Just, just like one long tubular one shit flies out. Ooh. <laughs> Like one of those snakes that escapes from a can. Oh, fuck! Like sake. you know the the the, 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 the sort of practical joke where you unscrew the lid of a jar and a snake shoots out. Yeah, that's the poo coming, that's out, of coming Bond's out of Bond's ass. ass. Yeah, holy shit! Just rips a hole in his trousers, just flies right out. Holy crap! I'd pay was good Q, money to see that. Was Q the name of the guy that does all the, uh, yeah. the gadgets? And gadgets. Yeah. Sure. What have you got for me, Q? Well, but pay attention, Bond. This is a nappy. It's an adult nappy. <laughs> <laughs> With extra r- wiggle room, Bond. We've seen your uh, snake-like anaconda shits that you've been taking uh, recently, and we wanted to make sure that we could accommodate those. <laughs> Just spirals up in there. Oh, fucking hell. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey. The easy way to save when shopping and buying stuff on your iPhone or computer. I have used Honey. I've got it on my browser. Oh, the coupon book again. Get I'm... my coupon book out. <laughs> Get my digital my... coupon <laughs> my wallet don't out. It's a digital, I don't, it's a digital <laughs> coupon book. Hold on to coupons. It automatically searches, and I've noticed it pop up occasionally when I'm buying stuff. I really do recommend it. Um, but I it's, spend it's my just... Sundays sorting through my coupons. What what will I do in my spare time now that well, coupons are digital? How can I organize them by want? getting 10p <laughs> off of... Uh, of my preserves. Uh, uh, aubergine. Uh, aubergine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so uh, if you don't already have honey, you could be straight up missing out. Uh, you can get it for free at joinhoney.com slash triforce. Save yourselves more than 10p on an aubergine. You know, that, the, the baked well, beans are on much, offer as well. I mean, how much, what kinds of savings are we talking here on an aubergine? Because I, I think my biggest outgoing on a monthly basis is definitely the, the issue I have around aubergines. I can't stop eating. On average, I've either saved 10 quid or uh, got 10% or 20% off, wow. usually. So that's what I've, that's that's when I've seen it work. So yeah, I do recommend it. Uh, get honey for free at joinhoney.com slash triforce. Joinhoney.com slash trifles thank you very much and uh, on with the show hey listen um on the on the topic of movies uh i would like your opinions on the movies that i've watched recently i did not watch a movie for i had to have been about two years and then uh in the past probably four days i've watched like six movies okay Okay. i don't know why what What, prompted me to I've just watched a bunch. I don't know if you've seen some of these, but if you have seen okay, them... Okay, uh, hit me, hit me, hit me. Okay, let's go. the first one I watched was Hustle, starry, starring Adam Sandler on Netflix. Uh, oh, God. I haven't I haven't seen that. I, 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 I don't really care I heard it was good. Sandler. I heard he was all right. You know? Me neither, but um, it, was, it reviewed well, and people said that it was Adam Sandler actually playing a role where he's not... Mm. Um, you know, like and a, like, a, a big like man child, right? So, right, right? Quite like basketball, yeah. So he's a he's a basketball. He's a scout for the NBA, and um, he he ends up going to Spain to find um, some some talent, but then comes across like a like a street basketball player who mm. he then convinces to go back to America to try to make it in the NBA. 
It's pretty good. Wow. It was a it was a nice movie. I enjoyed it, which uh, which led me on to watching Uncut Gems. Oh yeah, I, I couldn't oh. get along with that. I, it was so depressing. It's really stressful as well. It's just it's really stressful. Yeah, it's one of the most stressful it's like movies I've ever seen. It's like shouting and people talking over each other. But I thought it was really cool. Well, I liked it. Yeah, it was really different. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought it was yeah, pretty good. I thought it was. Cool. I thought it was pretty good. Um, no, okay, you went up to an Adam Sandler. Yeah, I kick. don't know why. I think I, I just uh, I just thought he was pretty good in Hustle. Fine, I'll give uh, I'll give the I'll give Uncut Gems a try. I liked it. And then in the following the sports theme, I then watched uh, Moneyball with uh, Brad Pitt oh, and uh, classic. Chris Pratt. One of my favorites. One of my favorite sport movies ever made. It's Love so it. really Great. good. Yeah, I was surprised because I didn't really know anything about it. I didn't know if it was going to be any good or not. Just gave it a try and uh, really enjoyed it. Thought it was super interesting. Thought it was great. Yeah, yeah. it was really good. Uh, I also watched uh, Eight Mile with uh, Eminem. Never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not great, is it? It's got some good wild much, right? Honestly, no, it was. It's pretty garbage. It was. It was. There was parts of it that were okay, but I just thought um, overall, I didn't really enjoy it that much. It was. No, it was I just very got, average. I don't. Yeah. It's got a lot of. A lot of cameos in there, I think, there and stuff, right? Like exhibits in it. Yes. And is it Kim Kim Bass? Yeah, in it? she's it's in like, it. She plays his mum. Like yeah, and um, the guy yeah. from um, man, he's been in all sorts of stuff, but he was the the guy who used to whip himself in Boardwalk Empire. You know, like um, he was like the the Christian guy. Uh huh. I yeah. don't know if he was like uh, an right. investigator or something, but he was he played the mum's boyfriend. Who was also sure. his um, Eminem school? Did you people. see, by the way, the Eminem Snoop Dogg NFT song? Wait, do you mean Michael Shannon? Really quickly this week, Michael Shannon Michael. is a great actor. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't know. It might he be Michael it. Shannon. Yeah, actually, think about it. Yes, yeah, I it is so. Michael Shannon. He's he's fantastic. He's anyway, really sorry, good. Go on. They 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 did this weird fucking thing. It was basically just a shit song about weed, but Eminem is is in it, looking more of a dad than he's ever looked, and Snoop Dogg is just. Such a weird fucking. I find guy. like Eminem just looks like a dad is, who's is... had a whole bunch of cosmetic surgery. He looks very waxy <laughs> and plasticky now to me. He does. Do you, do you think Snoop Dogg is a fucking alien? Snoop Dogg? Um, no, I don't think he is. Really, no. I think he's just. Uh, he just hasn't aged into any. Uh, he just looks weirdly the same, yeah. and just I don't understand him. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I like Snoop Dogg though. I don't really have any problems with. Snoop he's Dogg. just a fucking living meme. Do you reckon he actually? Smokes weed off camera. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. Um, <laughs> tremendous amounts of it as well. Do you, do you know what Eminem looks like to me now? It looks like this is actually a Mark Zuckerberg side project. Yes. And he, it, cut, he dresses oh, up as Eminem he and does. goes out. Yeah, they, they, they do look oddly familiar, don't they? It's weird. Um, so I watched that. I said, do you know what? Good news. I finally convinced my wife to watch Whiplash. She was so hesitant. And do you know what the what the kicker was? Because I've been trying to, I, like, I've been joking about it. I was going to buy her the DVD for her birthday just as a joke and stuff. Because she's just like, I don't want to watch it. It sounds, like, stupid. I couldn't explain it right. very well. It's I mean, all right. But it's, like, I, I finally managed to convince her to watch it. Because we started watching uh, Don't Look Up. You know, the one with uh, yeah. DiCaprio. Oh, yeah. Too long. But Well, uh, we got, a, like, five minutes into film. it. And uh, my wife's like, you know, I'm just not going to like this. Like, what's it about space and stuff? I like, I don't really know. I think it is a little bit, maybe astronomy or whatever. She's like, oh. I was like, okay, well, if we're not watching this, we've got to watch Whiplash. And she's like, those are the only two choices. I was like, yep. She's like, all right, put Whiplash on then. I'll try it out. And she's hooked now. She's like, oh my God. Like we watched half of it because we got tired, but she's like, I can't wait to watch the rest tomorrow. This is great. So there you go. A Whiplash this is convert. with a fucking good movie. Just, just yeah. to be clear, Don't Look Up is not about space. No, well, no, we didn't. Whole... We didn't know though, like, because we we we're we're at this point now with like all these streaming services, Netflix and stuff. I don't know if you guys have this, but you spend all your time browsing through them and never watching anything because everything. Like, I, I I fucking hate doing it too. Like, I'm just sitting there looking for something to watch, and everything just looks boring and shitty, and I can't find something to watch. Mm. Uh, so now we've just decided instead of browsing, just click on stuff and give it a try. But, like, there's been a lot of things that we've only watched for, like, two minutes and then decided, rightly or wrongly, that we don't want to watch it. So. Right, that's fair. So, um, so, we're, so, we're in the middle of watching Whiplash. And the other movie that I wa watched, I took my kids to see on Sunday, Lightyear, the new Pixar movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. We were talking about that last week. It was all right. It's, it was just, it was, it was okay. It was just, uh, it was fine. It was, it was... Yeah. 
typically Pixar, but not as good as like other Pixar movies. Like, you know, so like not all Pixar movies are created equal, I guess. Like some of them are just way better than others. Lightyear yeah. was technically really good. Like looked great, you know, like all mm. the animation and shit. The story was just like, whatever, it was okay. And it was, and it was fine. There was like some funny moments in it, you know, is the usual, like the sidekicks are all like the, the comedy elements and stuff. And it was, mm. it was, it was, it was pretty good. My kids loved it. So that was nice. And I got to just sit in a dark uh, room and nobody really talked to me for two hours and I ate popcorn, which is kind of nice. But, um. Holy shit. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. I mean, that as a dad, I would I give it a five a... out of ten for sure, which is generous Some... for me. <laughs> wow! Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see the new Thor movie. Um, is that the one it. with the with the woman Thor? I don't know. Oh, it's the new one anyway. Is there a, is there a woman Thor or something? I do, I, I don't think know. I saw something about woman Thor. Possibly, I haven't heard. I haven't even heard there was a new Thor movie. Love Thor, and Love and Thunder. Oh. Thor embarks on a journey unlike anything he's ever faced. A quest for inner peach. Peace. Love and peach. Thunder sounds something like a, like a dwarf peon would say in an it RTS does. game. Love and Thunder. Yeah. When you give him an order. Yeah. However, his retirement gets interrupted by Gore the God Butcher, a galactic killer who seeks the extinction of the gods. Sounds bad. Oh. That sounds. It's, it's directed by Taika Waititi, who it, co-wrote. Of course, it is. Oh, man, I think everything so is. He, so it's probably going to be really good. Yeah, he's done everything. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say we. Here we go. I like the last Thor movie. He's lot, my so age. Like Let's it. look at this. He's he's like my age. Yeah. And this dude is right. killing it. It's, sure. It's actually incredible. Why why is he so much better than me? We're the same age. Wow. But but, but okay. But I read this thing the other day that said uh, if you're 70 years old, right, you're unemployable. Okay, because you've got mental decline. And well, your unless you're applying to be calcified. the president of the United States of America, exactly. in that, in that exactly. case, you can be as old as or you fucking want to be. Any business, that's right. Like you could be as fucking incompetent as you like. I feel like it's the same with um, it's the same with other sort of aspects of. of I mean, God, I, I know we have we shouldn't really talk about this, but the big news that happened when I was on fucking holiday. For some reason, you know, no one's, everyone's like leaving their phones at home. Do you know what I mean? We're all out on the beach, like on a boat somewhere, like about as far away from social media as possible. And yet breaking news, kind of the breaking news, like it was like some sort of global event uh. was, um, you know what I'm talking about. I do. The, the, uh, the, the overturning Roe versus Wade. Roe versus Wade, yeah. The over- overturned. And um, the immediate thing I thought was like, like I saw someone tweet it the same same thought, but it was it was basically do you remember when, you know, in like 30, 30 years ago crime dropped massively and they all tried to like take credit and say it was better policing and all this, but right. it turned out the free economics guys figured out yeah, yeah. that actually it was because a generation of kids yeah, that, that shouldn't have been born. Th- yeah, exactly. Were 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 born, right? Yeah. And uh, unwanted and, and you know, on the streets. And so what are we gonna see no, of course we're not, but I just like the idea of a return to crime America. Crime, I mean. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> a return to... Like some Judge Dredd future, no. right? Where everyone's fucking criminals and there's like judges on the street. Wait, fucking orphans everywhere. everywhere. Like, you are a despicable... St- Stop, criminal scum. I'm just saying that we got to look at the benefits of this. What, what is the upside to them? <laughs> They've already got <laughs> most of the prisoners in the world are in America. Like, they, they have the most <sighs> incarcerated people. It's insane. The country's gone madder and madder year it's on year. It's gone mad. Yeah, it feels like I saw a clip fun. today. They were talking to one of these guys. I don't know what state it was or who he was, but this was some, some kind of political thing, and you can look it up. I don't fucking care. And he was saying, uh, uh, you know, an I an IUD, which is like the coil, they call that, right? You, oh, God, you yeah. You put it in the, the uterus, and it stops the egg, even a fertilized egg, from implanting on the lining of the uterus, and therefore turning into a fetus and all the rest of it. Sure. That is considered, this guy was saying, that's not a contraception, that's a form of abortion. So we should ban that. Yeah. That, that was his plan. Right. So... I know that uh, I, I watched some videos about this idea. What they call it? The- let's just let's just make this let's just make this a little bit. So, is a condom a form of abortion? Yes, because well, it's, think, it's only when a sperm meets chop, an egg. Apparently, right? No, no, no. It's only when a sperm meets an egg. Oh, it's, it's only the Catholics that believe that you shouldn't. If you spill your seed 
and it's not in a woman, you know, that's a sin, basically, right? So that's not a Protestant So like a thing. face, it's like, it's like finishing on the face, is that abortion? Nothing on her thigh, on her face, on her ass, <laughs> on her titties. It's all no good for Catholics, right? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. So, Wait, is that in the Bible somewhere? Absolutely. Thou shalt not okay. none except up her butt. That's <laughs> holy crap. That's the commandment. That's because uh, the Bible famously rhymes. That's the kind yeah, of interpretation that's, I'm that's... into of the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> the, the baller interpretation. Um, no, sure. so it is. You know, Snoop but, Dogg's version. Yeah. <laughs> There's sort of reaching for that kind of uh, you know. Well, what is contraception? You know. So I, I think. The, the ideal for a lot of these people would be to not have any form of contraception. Um, and then that leads to a few things. First of all, abstinence, which they love, right? They love abstinence. They don't want anybody to have start having sex until they get married, all that kind of stuff. That's a very far right religious kind of view is that you shouldn't have sex outside of marriage. Right. There's also a large group of people over there who think that there are not enough white babies being born, so we need to make sure that more of these people who are having abortions are having babies instead, because that's the only way that they'll stop being quote-unquote outnumbered by non-white people. Uh, so the replacement crap. theory and all that kind of stuff. I, f I feel like these people, when they find like a little extra benefit, it's like when I'm, it's like me being vegan, okay? When I find something that you know, I originally became vegan because I wanted to be healthy, okay? But then I found that actually I can be also really smug about looking after animals, yeah, right? Yeah. And I could also be really smug about climate change. It's like, oh, I'm saving the planet, guys. I'm saving the planet as well. You know, and so any time they get a little fucking chance of an idea that sounds good like oh not enough white babies are being born that's right. i'll jump on that one it's like what it's yeah. not actually a good thing um no, well that's that's where it's gone and either way geez. you know what, what do we, i mean th this is the other thing is i saw a lot of people over here panicking about how we might be next because you know all the tories always do what the uh what the republicans do which is not true uh, we're not going to suddenly have guns over here we're not going to suddenly develop a conservative religious large conservative religious voting base um we're definitely there there's like they did a poll a few years ago it's like a handful of a percentage like two or three percent of people think abortion should be limited that's it like there's no way that we're going to have anything like that over here or i can't even imagine it anywhere in europe in all honesty there's a lot more support support maybe, for it in america maybe italy maybe italy but america is very 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 different from us yeah so don't yeah, worry, uh, uh, it's yeah. not going to happen over here, and there's nothing but we can do about it. Their idea of of religion is is really kind of different. I mean, we have the Church of England, which is probably the weakest uh, church. It's the it's the most pussy church. <laughs> <on> <laughs> they the had a fight. They're losing. To, I, they'd lose to the fucking Buddhists. At least they have a massive gold temple and shit. And they a bunch yeah. of them. You know, they've got those monks that do kung fu and shit. What have we got? We got and, Brenda and. Uh, and Sharon, who do the jumble sale on a Sunday. And they've like, made a fucking fruitcake. And right. they're trying to raise money for the church roof that's falling down. Yeah. Oh my God. Which is nice. And it's fine. It's very British, right? But the, the, the Church of England is so hands-off and good. Because if they were hands-on and active, we'd be like, shut the fuck up, you pedos. Like, <laughs> just get, get back in that hole. Do you know what I mean? Like, we wouldn't let them have an inch. Um, we shouldn't. You know, in these days, they have no cr credit and they have no... Whereas I think so many Americans, like even presidents, feel that they have to go to church and they have to say, I love God, some form of God. I'm like Lutheran or Baptist or one of the ones, whatever. But, you yeah, know, I don't we're think all, it's all the same I don't God. I think there's ever been a president who hasn't gone... To church. You know, they attended yeah, the said Sunday said service with their whole family. Which, which is terrifying. Like, you have to. You have to. This is, you know, this is the land of the free, by the way, but... You can complain all you want. You better toe the line, about. You know? Oh, you know, these Islamic states. Just look at your own. You know, look in the mirror, America. <laughs> it's a message to you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. It does, it does, uh, uh, it does annoy me when me a, a lot of the things that they say, the conservative, the very far right conservatives in America do seem to me quite similar to the sort of, uh, is, sort of fundamental Islamic uh, teachings where it's very, to me, very anti-woman. Uh, which seems spot on with American conservatives. It's sort of like, you know, you have to be religious and why wouldn't you be? And we've got to follow the teachings of the Bible and all that. And the teaching this is wrong. And it it does genuinely seem like a woman's place is in the home, all that stuff. You, you get on with these lads pretty well. There are some differences. But I reckon if you had Sunday lunch uh, and Taliban and a bunch of these uh, Mormon types all sat around, they'd find a lot more in common with each other than differences.
I would like to see more intra like religion fighting. Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> what are you? Got you want to these... see more crime? <laughs> you want to see a, re- a return to religious like, wars? Wars? dream is like I a chaotic crime Utah, ridden. Uh, like I want to see the Mormons fighting like the Baptists. We would like see, to like, see that. I mean, I would on. like to see the Amish like fighting the fucking you know whatever right. nutcase. You're selling me. Um, whatever nutcase choirs going much like in Ireland, you know, with the Catholics. Oh my god, dude! We need some of that in. Why well, isn't that in America? Because why do they all just put up with some of these really shitty like fundamentalist sects and cults and shit? You know, get Scientology versus like I don't know one of the other. Wait, weird, you want them um, to stop blowing each other up and stuff like that? Well, they're all kind of they're, they're kind of all just idiots and scumbags. Anyway, if they all kill each other. Then we'll solve the problems. All solved, isn't it? Wow, this is you a know? controversial episode this week. <laughs> it all started when Lewis's phone went saying, off while you know. he was on his vacay. The big news <laughs> about <laughs> it bothered me so much. Now this is me just spilling out. Holiday my short. Rage. We're going back. We're going to do a triforce about this. Did all Let's the go. people that you went on holiday with get to uh, experience this this level of ranting from you as well? Did you go off on one big no, time, uh, or did you try? That's why he's doing I it was, now. He hasn't I'm done trying it for to be a week. On my best behavior around people I, I don't know very well whereas with all of you guys I'm just like ah fuck it like I don't know like just I guess the point is that I did read an article this week that said more and more people are declaring themselves non-religious than ever you know and uh, it's, it's obviously a path that we're taking and I think that in a world where we are all more aware and educated and and also st- able to stigmatize people who are stupid or doing stupid shit like public shaming them on the internet which is not the best thing in the world but it is an interesting phenomenon there's the john ronson book called um so you've been publicly shamed it's really good it's a really interesting yeah, yeah. read i think you you recommended it to yeah. a few facts before um so yeah obviously it's not a great thing that we have but it is an interesting thing i'm just saying that, that these religions are going to be fighting for, for the idiots right they're all fighting over the idiots they're like oh it's like it's like those nigerian princes scamming you on the internet like it's only the dumbasses <laughs> or people who buy nfts if you're thick enough to buy a fucking nft you deserve to have your data stolen and other shit to be marketed to you you know because you're stupid enough to fucking buy that shit as well Uh-oh. do you know what i mean i just bought a whole bunch <laughs> of nfts right before we started <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm worried. Coming back round to the fucking Snoop Dogg Eminem NFT thing, because they both bought NFTs. Right. Um, they both bought an ape. Uh, Eminem's got like a weird looking one with a hat, and Snoop Dogg's got like one with a cigar. Um, and they sort of they are these apes in their fucking music video. And it's just at, at the time when you know Bitcoin is just kind of having a shit because <laughs> because it is nothing. It's, uh, it's nothing. <laughs> Or well, like shit coin, am I right? Like if it's having well, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I hate to be the 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 crypto guy, but like I, I talking about this, but we talked about this a lot before, and I've always been very like on the fence because I'm always like kind of like yeah, do you know what? Well, maybe it is good. Maybe it's like a useful thing to have to check like you know the banks and stuff, and oh yeah, decentralized, oh, free free markets. You know, I'm I'm very much that kind of guy, right? Um, and I feel like you know if people. If people didn't know, they probably would think, oh, yeah, Lewis has probably got some some crypto, right? He's probably invested in something. But I've always just been so scared about it because it's so... It just, it just, it just doesn't feel it's like... It's gambling. It's gambling. It doesn't, and as it usual, doesn't feel like anything. All of these things are set up. Listen, I, I'm going to give you some PFLAX life advice. Here we this go. Is all of you Is out this going to okay? cost me anything? This is going to be free. Wow, that's I that know. kind of but, advice. But I like that. If you I listen, know. If you listen to it... Once you've listened to it, you can go and play on your computer all day. Okay, okay. right. All right, so, I'm ready. Yeah. So, very simple. If anyone ever tells you, all you have to do is get in on the ground floor of X and buy it, and you'll be rich. We're all going to be rich. It's a load of fucking bullshit. So are you saying it the that same if thing. it sounds if, too good to be true, exactly it probably right. is. But people always think, oh, this is different, though. And there's always some clever sales pitch, like there was with cryptocurrency. Oh, but it's decentralized. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're free from it. It's a, just another fucking sales pitch. Every pyramid scheme starts just, off with, if you just this is not like other pyramid thing, schemes. If you come along and you pay into the tithe and you give some of your money and you wear the pajamas, you're going to get the best seat in heaven. Right. And you're going to watch other people wanking. You know, <laughs> you, could, in heaven? you could do whatever you want up there. Where you did know, that come from? It's wonderful. It's heaven. You know, well, that's got what what God's doing at the moment. I he's see. watching you wank it. You know, well, so he's you know, very he can disappointed sit at the me. right hand of God if you only give all of your money to this 
um, group of rich white men to help them pay for their private jets. That's the you know, but the uh, thing is, what makes it aspirational is that all these tech multi billionaires and all the rest of it who sit around saying, "Look at how much I've made from crypto." You shouldn't see that as that could be me. You should wonder how it is that if this is so egalitarian and all the rest of it, how come these guys are so fucking rich off the back of it? Why isn't everybody this rich off the back of it? Because of course it always flows up. Always, always, always. Like the stock market, you're being told, oh, take your spare money and invest it. Who's telling you that? Some guy who's fucking a billionaire sitting there who just wants you to put all your money into these stupid platforms so you can lose it to the people who actually run this shit. Fucking just, you, the only way to make money in this world is betting on the horses. And let me tell you what, I've got a hell of a pick for you for 240 at Winchester. <laughs> uh, it, the, the horse is called Gabby Hayes Santa's handbag. Santa's little helper. Uh, <laughs> Lump on. G Gabby Hayes handbag. Yeah. I love that. Uh, you're totally right. I mean, it's you all gambling. See it like, it's just again ridiculous. Again. Just, you, you have it, to get it, a it job. Is... Sadly, you either get lucky, rip people off, or you get a job. And that's pretty much the only way to make money. Like, I'm sorry, but that's it. None of this fucking, oh, I'm going to do it for my bedroom with clever investments. Fuck off. Fuck off. I mean, it's amazing. So the things that Bitcoin sold us were like, anyone can mine it. You can just run, run a manual on your PC. Of course you can't do that. The only people who can mine it are the people who have dedicated fucking server farms near to a fucking wind turbine. Right, exactly. The, 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 do you know what I mean? Or, or in the middle of the Chinese mountains near a fucking coal power plant that, 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 that this means they can get the electricity cheap and they run it at night, you know? And the same thing is like, oh, but you could just spend it like it's your Visa card, except you have to pay fees. You know, you don't have to do that with your credit card. People have to, oh, you can keep it safe. You just have to not lose the USB stick. It's like, well, how is that safe? <laughs> right. like, n n n everything about it is a lie, right? Yeah, it's like, a load of bollocks. And it's totally like, unregulated. Like every That's the other single thing. thing like, the, the, they, people they see this. People see lie. all these regulations as, like, government interference. But it's not government interference. It's genuinely, a lot of it is protection for you as a consumer. And if you say, oh, I want to step into an unregulated market, it's the fucking Wild West and you are going to lose your money. It, you really are. Because you lose your money in regulated markets as it is. Now you're taking all the rules away and saying somehow this is better? Bullshit. It's all bullshit, it's, man. Come yeah, on. Yeah, it's, it's hilarious. Anyway, I'm I just, sure thank we'll you get for, some charming it's emails. Just the latest, from it's just the latest bros. scam. You know, 2,000 years ago it was religion and that scam's still going. 2,000 <laughs> years Jesus. from now, some cunts are still going to be selling fucking wank coin to you and you're going to be fucking lapping it up. Man. How'd he you... is. He, this guy is just filled with <laughs> piss and vinegar after it. You, he uh, is. How long did you go away for? One week? Uh, uh, just a oh week. Oh, my I just, God, I don't know. man. Oh. It's reinvigorating. Can you imagine Whoa. if this guy went away somewhere for like a month? Oh my god, that'd be crazy. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got, I've got a fun email Sorry. that we could do here uh, to round uh, things out, if you like. Sure. This is from M Mikey. Mikey has put together uh, an, a quiz for us to see if we can remember things we've spoken about. Okay. Uh, on the well, we're going to fail right? this so, horribly. I, I, well, the question one, I think you'll get. Question one. And you could just jump in any time. There's no score or anything. Okay. Like that. It's just a bit of fun. Who is the famous siege breaker who is armed with a rotisserie chicken, a dressing gown, and a fishing pole? <laughs> it was a Gaza. It was Paul Gaza. <laughs> of course it was. It was Paul Gaza. And, oh, uh, is he, is he, uh, he got on the phone chicken. there, Perian? <laughs> I've got Gaza on the phone. I'm going to one of the questions in your quiz. I'm going to sit up in the quiz. Hey, oh, when you hear some of this room, stuff back, some it's, fishing and get some it's in there. fucking ridiculous, eh? <laughs> Didn't we have Who's a conversation one time about uh, Prince Philip being a, a, a force ghost? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm, sure, oh. I'm sure that'll come up. <laughs> so Who, whose good. version of Lord of the Rings includes Dave Bautista as Gandalf and Henry Cavill as Boromir? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> That's got to be so you. Much. That's got to be yours. <laughs> Right, but so who was fiction. the who's who was the director? Oh, oh, it was uh, like Sam Raimi, not Sam Raimi, um, Michael Bay. No, no, worse oh, even really? somehow. No, worse. wasn't it worse that guy, the guy Bay. that did the new Star Trek movies, JJ? Uh, no, not JJ Abrams. It was Zack Snyder's Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah, oh, Zack Snyder. Of that's was, right. Sorry, yeah. of course it was Zack Snyder's <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Oh. Sorry, you guys, <laughs> you guys won't get this one. You guys won't get this one. Who, who is Bodega's primary love interest? Oh, what the fuck? was her oh. name again uh Lu lula Lu 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 lola lilu lou Lu no it was, it was um, majesta oh, that's majesta that's yeah uh who would invite you I to join it. them on their stupid fucking journey oh that was lewis's ted talk right that was my ted talk from back in the day yeah, yeah. tedx oh, a tedx speaker 
Well, although the answer here says a Ted Ed speaker, which Ted is Ed. wrong. It was Ted, Ted X. Ted Ed and we Fred. We talked about Ted X. When speaking to his personal trainer, what did Lewis respond when asked, when was the last time you got a workout like that? Uh, it was something to do with, like, <laughs> fucking his mom, wasn't it? It was Very when I banged your mom. Inappropriate. When I banged your mom last night. <laughs> did you actually say that to your personal I trainer? I stand by that. I stand I know by you, pro- you can't set someone up like that and not fucking use that. Like, did did he how laugh many chances at all? Do you get to say that? No. Uh, I remember the story was that the trainer would just crack on with his job, thinking this guy's a fucking twat, and Lewis is just <laughs> just fucking with him, just because why not? Oh, I think the less reaction I get, the more I want to double down on it, though. <laughs> the funnier it gets when he just looks at you blankly and you're like, yeah, because I fucked you above, yeah? The thing is, it's like I know that I'm going to be able to tell this story in the back of my mind. So I'm like, Holy yeah. Shit. He's doing just, it for the memes. Worth it. All right. When Pyrian went to the strip club called The Flying Scotsman, how did they collect tips for the stripper? It was pound coins in a in a pint glass. It was pound oh coins my in God, a pint glass. We have glass. such good memories no, I, of this Actually, shit. it's He's not like we. It's moments. me who has a great memory, I should point out. I'm getting them all but right. I think a lot of these bits you're talking about are ones that have been animated as well. There's a couple of animations. Oh, really? of Several of these have been animated. Right. Yeah, yeah that, uh, I think that helps. So here's another one. If Sips were to become a Zen master, what question would he pose to his eager disciples? Oh, it was something. Was it? Was it Shanae? <laughs> no, that was that was, that that was, was his like chance. peace word. Yeah, the peace word. Yeah, but that's that's what you say when you've reached Nirvana because of this question. I can't. It I was, can't even no, remember. It was. How do they get the caramel into the Snickers bar? <laughs> 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 How yeah. do they though? It's it's like magic. <laughs> this is an easy one. What is portage? Come on. Okay. We all know this. Come on. You guys know, know what, what, what it is, Skip right? On. It's I know it's that um it's that stuff with chips with the gravy and the cheese curds, right? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> if you if you were in UK prison, what would be the most effective way to injure someone who had wronged? <laughs> oh my god, man. Uh, it's to use a a, a jug or kettle of boiling hot water with a bit of sugar. Yeah, exactly. sugar so it cracks okay. the skin. Yeah. 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 Fuck me. Uh, and and there is a picture of the tri. I think a lot of jug. people forget the sugar. Yeah, yeah sugar. No, there the sugar is the key element. ingredient in that one because it yeah, actually they, they, burns. They, they, it it it. it yeah, she sticks. It sticks yeah, and burns, burns your skin for a lot longer. It's like burning tar yes. that they tipped on people in a sea. Yeah, whereas the know? hot water is just like a refreshing bath, which they probably <laughs> oh, need. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Yeah. According to the podcast, how would Sips like to die in space? I actually remember this one. I don't remember this. I think you want to fly into the sun. Yeah, I think you wanted to be at the bridge of a ship and you wanted to see the enemy fleet and be like, oh my God. And then you just get blown up. I think that was oh, it. Yeah, oh, that, that's okay. not actually a, a terrible way to go, right? You okay, just I'm, get actually, I'm, actually, <laughs> I'm actually so close. Uh, I want to be standing on the bridge of a massive space battle cruiser and I want to have been making some decisions and stuff. <laughs> and then I want, I want to do I that thing. I forgot how good that line is. <laughs> and then I want making to do that decisions thing. Decisions, decisions and stuff. stuff. When they look out the window, when I say, <laughs> oh my God, and then there's a bright flash of light and then I'm dead. <laughs> oh. I mean, come on. That's not a, t- that's not a horrible way that's to go. That's a great way to you go. You get the realization and stuff and you know, like in that split second, oh your whole life flashes before your eyes and you're like, my goose is fucking cooked here. Like, there's no <laughs> going back. I'm done. And this is oh, this shit. is actually incorrect. What is the true purpose of the abandoned house near Perian's house? And of course, it's the Russian, Russian spy, spy house. house. But, yeah, that's right. But it's it is Russian not the Russian spy, spy house. house. It is not. These are very, these are very light Triforce trivia. Now, I think if you asked us more specific stuff that was less memorable, we would have n- we talk about this all the time but I, ca- I li- did listen to a couple of old podcasts and I was like I can't remember us talking about this yeah. at no. all Dude, we've done do you so guys many get of them people, people tweet at me I'm sure you guys get this people tweet at me and they'll be like on episode 187 when you said X what was your thinking about Y I was like, I don't fucking remember saying X. Like, well, look, I have I've no just, fucking idea. What I've you're had a recent about. one from uh, Sol- Solaris Wesson, RE Triforce Mailbag One. You mentioned rebooting Saved by the Bell. It was in 2020. I watched the first episode and cringed so hard I couldn't watch anymore. So you, I don't remember wow. talking about reboot. No, Saved I don't by either. So there you go. And that was like, you know, Mailbag One when we recorded that well, like two <laughs> like, weeks ago or something. Yeah. Like, oh my god. So it just shows, like you, you, you oh, do kind by of the forget. way, j- just a follow up to Mikey. Just to, this is this is this is serendipitous. I study computer science at one of the UK's top universities. All right, Mikey, calm down, mate. And everybody I've talked to agrees. That NFTs are a bunch of wank. Well done, Mikey. Okay. That ties into what we were just talking yeah, about. Yeah, Mike, so. thanks so much. We're doing it. 
Um, so yeah, we're, you're going away for about three or possibly even four weeks, PFLEX. So um, we're going to struggle to have podcasts, but we have recorded a couple of mailbags. We have. We got a, we've got a, we got another special episode um, that we, we might put out that we were saving, but we might get that out to you guys. So, so there should be there should be uh, stuff coming out. I can so do next week. Okay. Fear. I can do next week. Um, Ooh, so okay. we'll have one. Then we I come back from Stockholm. On the the day we normally record, so I won't be able to do one that day. Come on, um, you pussy! Unless we did one in Lay the your afternoon. man up, okay, and and do the podcast on the day you get back. What's the problem? I know, I know. And then I am away for like two and a half weeks in California. And the thing what is, was that like end of July? Yeah, okay. but there is a ch- potential for doing uh, on the road podcast. I don't know Ooh. what the time frames will be like or anything, but we'll see. If I've got a free free time and you know if i message you guys we can sort it out it, it's possible it's possible okay well we'll let we'll let you well, we'll whatever you we whatever happens there'll be a podcast because we got yeah. a few in the can we have they're i not, doubt the, the mailbag one. ones are not as good no but they're all right they're, they're, they're fine right. honestly it's good enough for they're the fine it's good enough for it's the your fucking fault, listeners of this piece of shit if, they can if, listen if they're bad then it's your because you wrote those letters do you know what i mean i didn't write so, them i selected not you the audience said it's their fault yes Exactly. So you don't like it. Write sucks, better so you letters. have yourself to blame. Fucking idiots. You know? Yeah, exactly. You tell You're them. You're welcome. So, um, yeah, uh, thanks for thanks everyone. Thanks for thanks for listening. We'll we'll see you next. See Thank you, next you week so much. Or next month. We'll Goodbye. See you whenever. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye.